Good morning, everybody. Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to be quickly going over a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm personally watching here on the 10th of April in 2019. We're also going to be going over what the stock market futures are looking like and what direction we could be potentially headed this morning and throughout the day today in the stock market so let's hop over here to my safari tab very quickly click this refresh and see where are we right now right the s p 500 we're up about six dollars and 25 cents up 0.22 percent the nasdaq is up 13 dollars nearly 14 dollars right now up about 0.18 percent and the dow is up exactly the same in terms of percentage and up 46 points um, in terms of that index so the market futures are showing a slightly green day and this could push into the market open and continue to push green so let's just take a look very quickly at the SPY which is actually an ETF that tracks the S&P 500 and we can see what this is doing pre-market hours so let's hop over here to the 20 day one hour chart I want to point this out to you guys so we can get an understanding of the overall market movement and again the S&P 500 is the 500 largest publicly traded U.S. companies, and this gives us a better understanding of the overall U.S. stock market. So yesterday, you know, we saw the big red day in the S&P 500. Obviously, the SPY followed from 288 roughly down to about 286. But what am I seeing here on the 20-day one hour this morning? I'm seeing that we've successfully, as as far as pre-market hours goes, as of right now, we've successfully held this 180 simple moving average support level, and we're at a higher low from the previous low here. I I, I mean, I, I see that we broke this low here at about 287 so technically it's not a higher low from the previous but if we're looking on a broader basis here you can see this is a higher low from the one before this right at about 286 so this could really be the continuation the start of the continuation of the uptrend pattern but what you want to see now what you want to focus on now in terms of the SPY is are we going to break out of this 288 level here where we ended up bouncing uh, a couple of days ago, right? 288 here. Are we going to break out of that level and out of the 50 SMA? That's what I'm going to be looking for for the confirmation of the continuation um, you know, of the uptrend pattern here in the SPY and, of course, the SPY. X. So that's just a little market uh, overview of what I'm looking at right now and what we could potentially be doing today. Just keep an eye on those levels. Super, super important. But as of now, you know, again, you know, the pre-market data. You know, what we're seeing is looking pretty solid for the continuation here of this uptrend. So Tesla is actually a stock that I want to talk about this morning because it's absolutely on fire right now. Take a look at how Tesla is moving, guys. Just take a look at how quick it's moving right now. Let me just open the live news tab to see if anything is really pushing up the stock right now. Is there any catalyst? Uh, let's see. Announces 300 price target um okay maybe that could be a catalyst i don't know if that's a catalyst um you know bill update bill will benefit tesla general motors by adver by adding 7k tax credit okay um that doesn't seem too crazy to me but uh, nonetheless you know tesla is moving this morning and we've gotten the confirmation now that we bounced on this 50 simple moving average and we broke out of the 180 simple moving average resistance so now it seems like we want to test that 280 resistance that we were actually talking about a couple of videos ago and if we hop over here to the 184 hour chart this 280 resistance, guys, was a resistance from back in the middle of October in 2018. I know a lot of you guys have heard me say that, especially those who have been watching the videos. And we actually got rejected there a couple of days ago here. Um, you know, this was on Monday, I believe. We got rejected, sold off to 270. This is when I ended up holding my shares overnight. I ended up selling yesterday. And now that we popped up, I'm mad at myself. But again, you can't control these things. It's better to, you know, 
uh, control what you can control, which means, you know, locking in your profits, doing all that, and then the stock is going to do whatever it wants to do, and then you can re-enter, you know, when you reevaluate. So I'm again, I'm a little bit like, ah, I wish I held, but you know, that's just a human emotion that we have to control, right? But nonetheless, you know, we're going to be testing that 280 level, it seems like this morning. Are we going to break out of that level, are we going to test this 180 SMA again, which has been a resistance over the past? Are we going to break out of that level for a potential breakout in Tesla? That is what I'm watching here, uh, you know, this morning in terms of Tesla stock. So Apple is another one I'm watching here, guys. We got a bit of a pullback uh, yesterday after market hours, and it seems like we are pulling back a little bit this morning as well. We can see we dumped down to about 197 earlier on this morning. We're popping back up to around 199. And it seems like we're still trending down to the mid 198 today. So honestly, I wouldn't mind if Apple did end up, you know, opening up red and maybe testing, you know, 196.50, maybe 197 again, if it drops about another dollar at the open, this could be a good opportunity, especially if we hold the support for a potential swing trade back up to 200. And maybe if we break 200, right, which has been a resistance from yesterday, since we didn't get over 200, or we did briefly get over 200, but we failed maintaining that level as a new support, you know, we could be potentially if we break out, maybe we could go to 205 and the next resistance distance is going to be 210 excuse me and remember you know uh an analyst company ended up upgrading the stock yesterday from 215 to 225. You know, a lot of people were saying, you know, this is just, uh, you know, a scheme for them to pump the stock. You know, uh, you know, people think that that doesn't even matter, right? It doesn't matter what analyst people say. You know, people think, okay, man, yeah, maybe it can go to 220, right? 225. You know, these are just some mixed opinions, and I personally think, you know, it can potentially go to 225 because we were already at 233, right? You know, the markets have been strong in general. If this if this push continues, you know, I do definitely see some potential, you know, especially for another 10, 15, 20 point move here in Apple, which is why, you know, it's probably one of the top stocks that I'm looking to swing trade here. So crude oil, let's just do an analysis on crude oil very quickly. We got the little pullback yesterday uh, that we were talking about. We got a little bounce here, you know, at a higher low from the previous. The continuation of the uptrend is looking intact. Now, all we want to see is a big green bar here, a big green candlestick, a big pop on the 184-hour chart to get in a, on a potential trade on UWT. And why do I want to see that? guys is because take a look at the past price movement on crude oil right every time not really every time but you know typically when we pull back here a bit we get a big couple of green candlesticks to push to a higher high right one two here we got the little pullback a couple days ago and we had that massive push up to the 64s now we're getting a little pullback and this is what i'm trying to see right are we going to get Another big push. If we do, this is something I want to capitalize, um, you know, in terms of trading crude oil and trading UWT, which is an ETF that goes up whenever crude oil is pushing up. So let's talk about very quickly NVIDIA. Let's see how this one's going on uh, performing this morning. NVIDIA still hovering around that support level at about 185, 187-ish, you know, right at that level of about 188, which was a resistance. It seems like it's holding that level as a new support. So not much news um, in terms of the technicals here on NVIDIA. Just want to see it pop and get back into the 190s for me to potentially add more money into it. And yes, this is one that I'm actively trading. I have a small position in it and I plan on holding it to around 190. 95, 196, and let's say we had make a strong move to the 200s, you know, that would be the ideal selling point, but I want to start taking some profits is what I'm saying at around 195, 196, 197-ish. So those are just a couple here, guys, that I am watching uh, this morning. Not too crazy. I'm being a bit cautious with my swing trades. The higher and higher these markets push, I'm being a bit more cautious, right? I'm not chasing stocks that are already at all-time highs, right? A lot of people 
you know, they've been asking me, Stas, are you swing trading Microsoft, right? Let's take a look at Microsoft. I was like, no, I'm, you know, we're already at all time highs. I'm kind of scared to swing trade Microsoft. You know, I've been asking, I've been getting questions on Starbucks. You know, I did cover Starbucks a couple of videos ago or a week or two ago. You know, I was talking about in that video, I want to see a pullback in Starbucks before potentially building a position. And we just haven't gotten that pullback, right, guys? And it's still at all time highs. And these are the stocks that, you know, I don't want to swing trade, right? I like getting into companies, into stocks that are, you know, very undervalued, not undervalued in terms of metrics here, but the stock's price itself has been beaten down, right? And it doesn't mean exactly that the company is overvalued, but in terms of the stock price, I like to see a stock price that has been beaten down. It's reversing to the upside, right? And I like to capitalize on some of that margin, right? Which is why I'm swing trading in Nvidia, it's gotten beaten down. It's reversing here. You know, I swing traded at V, and I'm looking to swing trade it again. It's gotten beaten down, slowly reversing, right? You know, Apple. It's gotten beaten down. Now it's slowly reversing. It's, it's it's really made a huge reversal here, and I've made money on the upside. You know, these are some of the stocks that I'm looking, and really the patterns that I'm looking for. So I'm going to end off the video here. If you enjoy this video, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. If you have any suggestions, any comments, what you're trading, drop a comment down below. Let me know. I would love to talk to you. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that I do make a video. I'll catch you all in the next video. If you're in the group chat, I'll talk to you there. Have a good day today. Good luck and peace out.